My name is Barista Lachman Abiodun Abdurrahim. Uh, I'm the Honorable Commissioner for Education, Science and Technology, Ohio State. Uh, I'm here to oversee the activities of this ministry and the other agencies under the Ministry of uh, Education. And by the nature of my work here, I oversee all the schools in the state, in the tertiary institutions, as well as uh, secondary schools, primary schools, and technical schools as well. And then uh, I have to ensure that education being one of the four cardinal uh, programs of this administration is well taken care of. And I've been doing my best in that regard. Like I earlier said, education is one of the four pillars of this administration. And they will be able to really interpret the dream and aspiration of His Excellency with regards to the education sector. That makes me happy every night. Uh, the, our secondary schools, we've been able to really uh, change the narrative in a better manner. The schools are now very conducive. Students now realize the need for them to really sharpen their own future and they have been cooperating with us. And then we've been able to really interpret the yearnings of the society in the need for global collaboration when it comes to education. Government alone will not be able to take all the responsibilities of education. We need to collaborate with some organized sectors. It's not a business as usual. And uh, so far we've been able to recruit about 6,000 teachers in our public schools, uh, secondary schools uh, to be precise. The last time such recruitment exercise, even of uh, lesser gravity, was conducted was about 15 years ago. And uh, the best of all is knowing His Excellency. He has given me the platform to operate. He has given me all necessary encouragement, uh, all necessary incentive, all necessary direction and directives. And then this has really tremendously uh, given us, has given us uh, hope, results, and pride. I've seen in a man that I can say is a endowment of God's favor to the state. It is fulfillment of God's promise to the state. Well, what am I saying? This is someone that seems that really understands the problems and he doesn't brood on the problems. He tackles the problems and provides solutions. And I can say in, in his dictionary, he doesn't have the word impossibility. In fact, if we have to interpret the word impossibility in his own dictionary, it is possibility in an impossibility. Apart from this, 
is a very, very good listener. If you talk, if you are addressing an issue for an hour, he will patiently wait for you. And, and he will give you the answer that will satisfy you because you believe there and then that he has listened to every word. And he has a very good memory. Very, very, almost perfect one. If you discuss anything with him today, go back in five years time. And uh, you want to brush that particular issue one way or the other, or introduce uh, some aspect to it which you did not. We remind you, this is exactly what he told me that time. So, and uh, he's a workaholic. I don't think he has, he has time that he can say, no, I've closed for the day. No. Anytime you discuss an issue with him, it's up to the task. One more thing is that it doesn't magnify problem. And it doesn't underrate the problem as well. So it gives the it gets the true picture of the problem. So and you will provide the answers that will meet up headlong with that problem.